the Dolby Atmos sound has, has evolved in the sense that the first Hobbit movie was the first time we'd ever encountered it, and it was a pretty exciting tool. But you know, we've actually managed each year now we've managed to you know to do different things as our knowledge of, of how to best use it expanded. It does add atmosphere and especially with these films the effects you know they just go from subtle little quiet moments of snow falling which in itself is a sound you know to this vast epic battle with some pretty scary creatures in there not just a fiber even dragon going crazy. It's wonderful to see uh, the technology developing into the theater We've used multiple channels before, but now, of course, it's expanding it in a very uh, good way. Audiences seem to be uh, responding to it very well, I must say. It's been an interesting you know, evolution, really. We started with um, Dolby Atmos in the first one, when it was first new, and now we've refined the, the, the techniques, and we've, we've really concentrated on the 9-1 beds and, and making the, the, uh, the environment fill and match the screen. It's great to have, have Dolby on our side. Sound is so important to the experience of, of watching and filming. I mean, for me, I did a very emotional scene at the end of the film. Um, and in that scene, I asked Peter, do you think that you could play the beautiful uh, Lord of the Rings elven music while I'm performing? Because the emotion that it evokes in you is so powerful. And it just made my acting like half as difficult. And I feel like that's the same experience that, that we have when watching the film. The You take away the sound, you take away the music, you take away the background noises, and suddenly it doesn't have nearly the impact it did and then the film doesn't doesn't evoke your tears it doesn't evoke your fears it, it just it falls flat I actually have come to believe the uh, best sound moments are the quiet moments now I think it's you know it's easy to mix a film loud and bombastic and but it's when you suddenly pull it back and you just hear the tiniest bit of, bit, 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 bit of atmos little subtle sounds they're the ones that I really like and we've built a few of those moments into this film I shall this day end.